What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to another adventure in Paper Mario. In between last episode and this episode of Want a Game, I changed things around and did some work on Mario. D do you notice? Do you see what I did? Do you? And it's not his hair. His hair hasn't changed. No, he is now level 27. He is max level. He is as high as he's going to get in this game. And uh, we have 50 HP, 50 FP, and 30 BP, which are the highest you can naturally go with all of them. BP won't get any higher, and of course, you can always use your HP and FP pluses in order to get more of those two. But for me, I am pretty well maxed out Mario. Highest level I can be, best boots, best hammer, most star energy. And just to let you know how it all went down, I kind of put together a little bit of a four minute montage thingy in order to let you know it's actually really like three minutes and 40 seconds but enjoy all right so i figure i'm gonna give a little bit of a commentary through this first battle because i screw up royally but it turns out to be a great thing in the end and it's all right there i did not dizzy jump into the amazing daisy therefore it did not start it's done for a turn so now i'm thinking to myself crap how am I going to do this? Am I going to be able to beat it one turn? And I realized that I couldn't. Feeling that it's just going to run away, I was going to accept my ultimate fate when it started jumping at me to attack. So I got off very lucky here in a sense that it did not run away from me, even though it had such little health left. Of course, it took 20 damage and put me to sleep, but I figured with 5 HP left, the best choice would be Watt, because Watt can pierce through defense and do that 5 damage that I need for this thing in order to kill it. So I'm thinking to myself, alright, cool, I got through that, awesome! And then all of a sudden, boom, Merle comes into play, and shabam, doubles my star points, thus earning me the most star points I have earned so far in this game. Probably I've ever earned in a Mario game, 80 star points in one shot. Freaking crazy, man. Uh, after this, it's just gonna be pretty much me going through the next, like, three minutes or so of beating up daisies, but just to show you here, the BP is no longer selectable, it basically says you can't do it, so... Enjoy the uh, Amazing Daisy Massacre! Wasn't that fun? Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. So I'm actually here along the road to go to Koopa Tower, or not Koopa Tower, the Koopa Bros Fortress, because there are things that I missed. So you saw the guy jump out of uh, the bushes there. There was actually an X worth of points here that would have initially made us come over here in order to get him. But now that we have other abilities, 
Get over here, Mario. We can get ourselves a star piece. I gotta start running around and collecting these from the actual uh, field themselves if I missed any. And then in this area, as you can see, we have another star piece available to us. So let's go over here and back. Ah, come on, over here. Ha! Ah, no, come on. Damn it! One more. There you are. Thank you. Remember this one? The the, the creepy thing that liked to follow Mario around and give him hearts if he need it? Yeah, it's pretty much that thing. Okay, so now that Mario is level 27 and he doesn't have to worry about going any higher, I think in this episode we are going to go ahead and head back to Toad Town in order to fight an optional boss. Well, it's actually a bunch of optional bosses. Inside of Do Toad Town on the left side is the Dojo, which is the place that Mario can go and, you know, train a little bit and whatnot, but really all it is is a series of five boss fights that get increasingly harder to the point of the last guy in the set is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. Unless you set yourself up correctly, in which I have. So why don't we go ahead and go over here and do that. It's located right next to the first item shop uh, in Toe Town. You may have saw them earlier when I first came to Toe Town. There was two guys standing here and they talked about the dojo being closed and it actually opened up, I want to say, at the end of chapter one. So you could have came back here at any time after that and then participated in the fights. I waited until I am level 27 before I did that because mostly of, you know, the Grand Master and whatnot, the hardest one that you'd have to fight there. I did end up beating him before off screen when I was, I want to say like level 21, 22. I didn't record it or anything along that ways. But it is possible to do it much less or much lower level than 27. So just keep that in mind and then you'll be able to go ahead and, you know, do what you gotta do. As far as my batch setup is concerned, uh, quick change is always a good thing. You don't want to worry about dodging, so dodge master unless you're good at the action command. I like having as much power on me. Uh, always gotta have damage dodge. Zap tap. Zap tap is probably your single most useful badge for this fight. Mainly because a lot of the things that happen to you, a lot of the attacks that the enemies that we're going to be fighting uh, against Mario, uh, go up against Mario, use physical techniques. And anything that touches Mario will still, da will still do damage to him, but will be interrupted and delivered one point of damage back at them. So, very, very helpful, and I'll explain that as we go along. Uh, I think that's really it. Oh yeah, bump attack. I do bump attack because pretty much every enemy now for the remainder of the game is lower than Mario, so it just makes for getting around a lot easier. You probably saw a lot of enemies come up and touch me, and then they just exploded into nothingness. So, that's what bump attack does, and that is what makes it amazing. Alright, here we are. This is the dojo. Come here, come Mario. Come Mario, come over here. Let's do a quick swap so everybody can kind of get a better look-see on the guys here. So, yeah, you have uh, the Grandmaster Toad over to the right, and you have uh, Lee and somebody else. I forget who uh, who those two are, but we're going to be fighting them. Can, can I actually talk to you guys? Yes, I can. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, each one has his own character weak points. Sometimes you do bodies, sometimes items. Always, always use your mind. Yeah, because it's like a strategy in a sense. You know, you got to make sure you got to know what to do at any given time. Kind of like what I showed you guys when I was leveling up and uh, that very first Macy Daisy encounter. A wise fighter knows that some of the best tactics is not to fight at all. No coward is running away. I very rarely run away. I think I ran away twice in this entire uh, game and one time you didn't see it. The only reason I ran away the second time is because I didn't want to bother with it. Plus it was when I was coming back from Shooting Star Mountain so it's like, not like I didn't need the coins. Oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. Ugh, 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 health is rather delicate. Every day we must train in this dojo to improve my body and mind. If you have the purpose and the desire, you will challenge us. Tell me, what business have you made today? <laughs> so, you can just kind of say dropping in and just end the conversation, but every time you say try, we're going to go up against one of the guys, so... Very well, then Chan will fight you. Now, Chan! It is time for you to fight, buddy. As you say, Master. And we go up against our first dojo fight. The really cool looking Buzzy Beetle, Chan. Here comes Chan the Man. Oh, I bet he took forever in order to come up with that one. 
So as you can see with Mario right now, I am electrified. Anybody that goes and touches me is going to take a shock damage, and then their attack is pretty much going to be cancelled right then and there. They're still going to do the initial shock, but if it's a multi-hit technique, it ain't going to do nothing. But before we go ahead, let us paddle on Jenny Boy here. This is Chan of the Dojo. He's training under the Master and is happy to fight us. Max HP 15, attack power 2, defense power 2. Hammer attacks don't work well, but you can turn him over with jump attacks. Once he's flipped over, he's easy. No mercy, Mario. That's a little upsetting there from Mario. Really? No mercy? Alright, whatever. But yeah, so he works exactly like every other buggy beetle we've ever fought before. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna do the initial jump, and boom! Look at that. Ow! How dishonorable! Yep, a little bit of a... Uh, Awkwardness right there on your back, my friend, but as, uh, you know what, let's use Goombario. Wall head bonk him. Yoop. Oh, okay, that that's fine. That's okay. I should be able to beat him this way anyway. Pending a hit. Yeah, we're okay. Much better. Damn it, action commands and missing them. Uh, anywho, I think he would give you star points up until like level 10 or 11, so at that point, he stops giving you star points because he's just that easy of a guy. So, one down. Must train harder, Chan. You'll never be Mario. It doesn't really even matter. But we get the first degree card. Proof of Mario's strength. Won by defeating Chan at the dojos. So there we go. That's what we're going to be earning. We're going to be earning all of the degree cards. So let's go ahead and talk to the master one more time. And now we will fight Lee. Now, Lee, let me see how you handle Mario. Certainly, sir. I will defeat him, master. Oh, we go up against the, the Dupla Ghost in blue. This is Lee. You've never seen a move like this before! What are you doing? What, what, what? Oh! Oh, he just changed into Goombario. Actually, my friend, I've seen quite a number of moves like that of all my different party members, so, um... Yeah. I... Uh, you bring nothing to the table. It's Lee, disguised as me! His max HP is 20. Do I really look like that? No way. He'll use Head Bonk and Tattle. He has the same skills as me. Of course, I'm much better looking, and more debonair. And I hope that I'm stronger too. Debonair. Wow, that's a word I didn't know that you knew Goombario. Very nice. But yeah, he could use Head Bonk, which is just the Bounce Bounce, and he actually will tattle on Mario, and I kind of hope he does that, because he's going to get one attack off on me, and I hope it's Tattle, because Tattle's a lot of fun for him to do. Oop, and boom, and what are you going to do? Oh, he's going to Head Bonk. That's okay, there you go guys, that's what it does, he does one attack, normally he would have bounced again on me, because it would have been the double bonk, but because I have the uh, zap tap on, one damage for me, one damage for him. Boop, boom, and boom, uh, you know what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, um, let's do nothing. What, oh, he transformed back, okay. Oh, you are strong, I'll give you that. Oh, and he did a normal attack on me, that's fine and dandy, okay, that's too bad, I wanted him to tattle. Oh well, we win. That's all that matters here. Goodbye, Lee. Train harder next time, and the next time after that, and the many, many, many times after that, because you'll never be able to beat me. Enough! Mario is the winner! Lee, you have much training to do. Very well. I give you this, Mario. Woohoo! We get the second degree card! Proof of Mario's strength, won by defeating Lee at the dojo. So that's two degrees down and a few more degrees to go, so let's turn it up a notch. Yada yada yada, we're here to try. Very well, and you fought the Master. So, Master steps out from the shadows in order to be able to take us on, because, you know, his dojo is very, very well stocked and whatnot, with him and two uh, candidates or, can or fighters and whatnot. This is the Master. He owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 50, attack power 6, defense 0. If he's the best in the dojo of only three people, he must be pretty tough out of the three people. Yeah, so uh, process of elimination, he is the master, so therefore he must be the best. But he does have 50 HP, which is quite a bit in order to deal with, so if you're not prepared, he could kind of mess you up a little bit. He has a lot of three-hit combos that could take away quite a number of hits, but I'm not really all that worried. A Mega Jump is more than satisfactory in order to start taking him down. Hmm, excellent move. And he's gonna come at me. Yeah! Oh, I wanted to block that, but that's okay. Still does one damage to him, so no worries there. Continuing my mega jump. Bonk! Very good. Um, let us charge up Goombario a few rounds just to get him enough attack on him. 
There we go, that's the blocking I wanted to do. Let's, um, make a jump again. Bonk! I don't think Goombario's strong enough to beat him, but we're gonna headbonk him anyway. Oh, yeah, okay, so close, so close. Sorry, right, next turn. You have natural talent. Well, yeah, I mean, I've rescued all seven Star Spirits, defeated so many bosses and everything. Better have flipped natural talent. I haven't used Refresh in a while, so you know what? This extra 5 HP and 5 FP will be pretty good for the next round just to go into it. Once I fight the Master for the third time, that's when I'm going to go in fully healed and everything. But for right now, this is more than enough. Yeah, and boom! There we are. And he is gone. Woohoo! Take that, Master. The Master has become the student now. Hmm, I see why you are so famous, man. You are truly a masterful fighter. Very well, worthy adversary. I give you this! Ha-ha! We get third degree card, which has three dots on it instead of two. Proof of Mario's strength for besting the master at the dojo. Now, you would think that this would be enough. We beat all three of them. We are the master of the dojo, Yippee-Ki-Yay. -yay. But actually, the master has a few uh, levels to him. Let us talk to him again. And now he is going to fight us again with nothing... Oh, is it uh, not go easy on us? Yes, that's right. Don't hold anything back, my friend. This is supposed to be a challenge for us. It's just a scrimmage. This isn't anything all crazy, right? Though I'm pretty sure if he beats you, the game does not go over. You just start up with one HP and whatever FP you have at the time. You don't get a complete game over. So you can go save up and try again, but Master Version 2, as he changes clothes into Super Saiyan Master, he is all yellow decked out, and his little feet are like bouncing around, and he is ready to basically kick the crap out of us. So where were you when all this stuff was happening in Peach's Castle? You could have defended it. Uh, all right, Tattle, or at least helped us, jeez. This is the master, he owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member out of three people. Yeah, so good for him. Max HP 75, where'd he get all that mm, HP from? Attack power 8, all right, I guess that must be when he glows yellow and everything. Defense power still zero. He knows both normal and advanced methods of attack. You'd better concentrate, Mario. This guy doesn't mess around at all. Yeah, so as you can see, he has gone into, well, hyper mode of sorts. So let's just go ahead and do pretty much the same strategy as the last time. Jump on him with everything that we have and dodge his attacks when he attacks us. So he's going to come out to us and go, hop, hop, and yeah. Okay, there's the dodge. I think that would actually have been a three hit combo that he would have tried to pull on Mario right there. So it's best that you have Zap Tap on in order to stop and cancel the whole uh, the whole attack. Another method for going up against the Master, even in his second form right here, would be those Repel Gels that we've been collecting throughout the course of the story. Because when Mario puts them on, he becomes uh, transparent or invisible or whatever for several turns. So that actually kind of works to your advantage because you can constantly beat the crap out of the Master while he cannot do anything against you. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, that, that right there was his three-hit combo. He kind of focused in on him, and then he charges at Mario, does like a body slam, picks him up, and throws him, and punches him, and does all kinds of crazy stuff. But seeing that he did that, we can now go on in and beat the ever-living crap out of him even more. Because anything that he tries to do to us, we have, well, we have the zap tap on in order to stop him. Alright, so next round, we're going to unleash Goombario's full fervor. Oh, there we go. Take that. Um, yeah, let's us do the jump. Yeah. And Goombario will do the head bunking. Boop, boom, boom. There we are. And Master, Golden Master, has gone down. That's right. Mario is having a seizure with all that blinking. Hmm. That was a solid fight. Very well. I give you this! Haha, -ha, we have four dots now! Yay, all the pieces of the die! Proof of Mario's strength for besting the master at the dojo. Should have the words again at the bottom of that, but fourth degree badge. Excellent, wonderful. But we are not done yet. We have one more fight in order to go through with the master. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a wacko's bump in order to start building back up my HP and FP. The only problem with me doing this is that. Oh no, I'm gonna have one more maple uh, super just to be safe going into here. 10 HP, 10 FP. There we go. That's good. And we'll drink one of these maple syrups. 
and what do we have? 48, 49, 48, 49, 48. All right, that should be more than enough in order to take down level three, Super Saiyan Master level three. And I say that uh, so literal. Ready? Fighting once more, hold nothing back. Do you believe you're ready? I am max level in this game. So my friend, bring it. To battle. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. See what I tell you? Super Saiyan Level 3 Master Toad Fighter Go. That's got to be the name of the TV show somewhere. Okay, so he is significantly stronger now. He has a lot more power to him, and he is ready to kick our butt. So yes, we know that he owns the dojo. You've said that before. 99 max HP, attack power 10, defense 1. So we need the defense power in this. He may well know a few. He may well know a few moves I've never heard of. We can't expect mercy from this guy, so let's take the fight to him. Uh, alright, isn't that what we're doing anyway? We're bringing it right to uh, his front door, I guess. Here we go. Mega jumping away, because there's really not much more else that we can do. Oop. Boom! Excellent. Ooh, you have good at hidden strength for one clue a plumber. I <laughs> love that line. Great line. Oop. Oh! Okay, there we go. We blocked it. That's all that matters. That move would do probably close to 20 damage to Mario if he was able to get it off completely, so... You don't want to do that at all. Um, I guess another strategy for this would be your dodging technique. If you brought Mario down to very little health and then put on those like lucky lucky badges where it increases his chance of missing attacks depending on how low his health is, and then going over to Lack of Lesser and throwing him into the cloud, then the master would probably never hit you at all in that case. And that's a pretty good method in order to use as well. Anything that keeps Mario ahead of the game compared to the master is, in my opinion, the way to go. But I'm gonna switch things out a little bit. We're gonna bring out Watt and we're gonna have her use Turbo Charge in order to boost up Mario's attack power because he's gonna need it. Good, good. Ah, damn it, I only got two turns out of it. Uh, not as good as I was hoping for. That's all right, ow. Um, let's actually swap this again to Lack of Lester and why don't we go ahead and use Cloud Nine just to be safe. One, two, one, two, three. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so my uh, my techniques are not really so well, but that's okay. Continuing the mega jumps. Whoop, boom. I probably should have just had Gumbario continue on his uh, blocking reins and whatnot, or charging reins and whatnot. But hey, what can you do? Um, changing member. There's really nobody else. Oh, you know who's a good one here? Actually, no. Bo is not good for this one because he does have a defense of one. Um, we're just gonna burn back to Gumbario. If he had a defense of zero, then I would say definitely bring out Bo and use her fan smack over and over again because you'd be able to do quite a bit of damage to him in that case. But for right now, we're just going to have Kumbario continuously charge and uh, hopefully earn enough. Oh, we got a defense boost. Nice. I'm glad I went and I did that. Uh, here we go, we go. Oh, oh, wow. I only took two damage. That is awesome. You are amazing, my friend. All right, so now we still have, we don't have anything. Everything has gone away. That's all right. He's at 53 health, more than low enough for us to be able to beat the crap out of him. Keep charging. This this battle is virtually won on our case. I may need to use uh, Smooch or, actually, I think I'm gonna take that last uh, mushroom. Just so I have enough, the maple syrup. Just so I have enough to survive through the remainder of it. I'm not worried, this battle is pretty much over. There are faster ways to beat him, there are easier ways to beat him. But I figure I'd try to get maybe a little status boost to myself to see how that would work. And quite frankly, I should have just uh, kept charging Goombario the entire time. Because probably by now I would have had more than enough in order to finish him off. Alright, that's good. We're going to do a few more charges. Ha! And bring it! Yeah! Boom! I'm not doing that good at blocking that technique, but at the same time, it's not doing nearly as much as it generally would. Especially with the, the zap tap on. Alright, Goombario, how does your head bonk look? Not to beat him? Yep! Yeah! Yes, take that! You're, you are no match for the powerful plumber in red. Blink, blink, blink. Hmm, noble body. You have bested me, the master, the strongest of fighters. Since you have beaten me at my full strength, I give you this with respect. We get the diploma, proof of Mario's strength. Now Mario is the strongest. 
Mario's strongest there is. And we get a nice little star on it. And that's really it. Besides the fact that we beat optional bosses, that's all we get. We just get this that proves that Mario has bested the master and is stronger than the master, even at his highest level of strength and whatnot. So yeah, that's it. No special item, no special abilities, no star pieces, no badges, no nothing, just a diploma that says we are awesome. And then if you go ahead and you try to talk to him again, and you even hit try, he says, you've already beaten me, please. I yield, I cry, you're the only one that can save the world. I am a lonely old Koopa, Goomba, Troopa, none of the above toad that's what you are and uh yeah that's pretty much it so uh think oh man i wanted goombar to stay on the other side of the room that would have been pretty cool if we were on opposite ends. um but yeah that's pretty much where it's going to end for right here thank you all for watching be sure to rate and comment down below and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me metal blade 427 in the next episode, I think I'm going to go ahead and run around and maybe deliver some letters. I go from being Master Ninja Dojo Man to Perfect Postman. Paracarry should be pretty happy about that. That was a lot of peas that I shot off there. I hope my pop filter is actually working. Alright, so uh, yeah. That being said, I am level 27. I am as strong as there is. And I'm going to be the best dang male carrier in the Mushroom Kingdom. Woohoo! You guys have a good one. And I will catch you all later.